Merry Christmas, and welcome to the 2022 Knights of Columbus Carol Festival. My name is Bob Wachholz, and I'm the chapter president representing 17 Knights of Columbus councils in Saskatoon and area. As Knights, we put our faith into action, and today we'd like to celebrate the coming of Jesus Christ on Christmas Day. We'd like to thank the students for their efforts and for sharing their musical gifts with us. We'd like to thank the teachers for their guidance and patience. We'd like to thank parents and caregivers for their love, encouragement, and support. And we'd like to thank everyone else that participated to make this such a blessed event. We'd also like to thank the Greater Catholic Schools and of course, the Knights of Columbus Choir. So wherever you are in the world, sit back, and enjoy the Carol Festival. And from Knights of Columbus, we wish you a very blessed Christmas.
Well, Slava Isusa Christu. Glory be to Jesus Christ and the Creator. My name is Diane Boyko, and I'm so happy to join you here on Treaty 6 Territory and the homeland of the Métis, and bring you greetings on behalf of the Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools Board of Education, as well as the whole division. We're so excited to be here once again, celebrating the birth of Christ, the impeding birth of Christ. And we're so happy that the Knights of Columbus have again sponsored us. After 60 years, we know that they have committed themselves to all of the children within Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools to give them the opportunity to be able to celebrate working towards the birth of Christ. So on behalf of all of the school division, we want to give you great thanks, the Knights of Columbus, to all of our staff who've done such a wonderful job readying the children, to all the parents and caregivers who support your children, and of course, to all of our students themselves. On behalf of Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools, have a wonderful Christmas season. Monsignor John Robinson was Vicar General of the Diocese of Saskatoon in the 1960s and one of the founders of Saskatoon's Friendship Inn, a community centre that supports individuals and families who are experiencing poverty. Monsignor Robinson, affectionately known as Father Robbie, was widely recognised for his love and concern for young people, and particularly for his active support of Catholic education. Today, the students of Father Robinson School honor his special friendship and work as they continue his mission of bringing the good news of Jesus Christ to the world.
2006 saw the beginning of a new era when the Catholic schools in Bigger, Humboldt, and Viscount became part of the GSCS family. St. Gabriel's School in Bigger is named for Gabriel the Archangel, God's messenger, who occupies a special place in the Christmas story, as it was he who announced to Mary that she would be the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the students from St. Gabriel join their namesake as messengers of God's love, bringing the good news of Christ's birth to all the world. St. Philip's School is named for Philip the Apostle, one of Jesus' earliest followers, whose first reaction after meeting Jesus was to go and tell someone else about the incredible man he'd just met. After hearing Philip's invitation to come and see, Nathaniel encountered Jesus and became a disciple himself. Today, as they sing of the peace the Christ child brings, the students of St. Philip's School follow the example of their patron saint inviting others to come and meet Jesus so that they may become his followers too. Yeah. 
known for his genuine love of people. His compassion, his warm sense of humor, Bishop James Mahoney was a beloved shepherd of the Catholic Church in Saskatoon. Before being ordained bishop in 1967, Father Mahoney taught at St. Paul's High School, which later became E.D. Fian Catholic High School, and served as the very first principal of Holy Cross High School when it opened in 1963. Today, the students of Bishop James Mahoney High School lift their voices to sing of the coming of Christ, the Savior that Bishop Mahoney served with his whole heart. As we prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus, our hearts and minds turn to the story of the Holy Family of Bethlehem, which makes Advent and Christmas a particularly special time for the students and staff of Holy Family School. Mary and Joseph are models for each of us as they humbly accept God's plan for their lives in faith and trust. And the baby they loved and cared for so faithfully is the Savior who loves and cares for each of us in the same way. Christ the King, who shall reign forevermore.
nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But what the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Founded as a private school and considered experimental at the time, Saskatoon French School was only the second French immersion school in Canada when it opened in 1966. When the French School Society and the Catholic School Division entered into a formal association in 1982, École Française de Saskatoon became part of the GSCS family as a non-denominational associate school. Today. The students bring to us the gifts of both language and music as they sing of happy hearts that delight in the beauty of creation. In the Gospel of Matthew, we hear the angel of the Lord appearing to Joseph four times in dreams, guiding him and warning him as he cared for Mary and Jesus. As the choir from St. Joseph High School sings of the holy and silent night on which Christ was born, our thoughts turn to holy rest and the example of St. Joseph. 
May we be inspired by St. Joseph, the courageous and loyal protector who rests confidently in God's love and goodness. And when we hear the voice of God, may we, like St. Joseph, arise and act in faithfulness and love. On June 21, 1911, St. Paul's Roman Catholic Separate School District No. 20 became an official entity. The first school was opened in the basement of St. Paul's Church in September 1911, and by 1913 the school had outgrown its space. 
A temporary building was used until St. Paul's School was built on 22nd Street in 1926, and the school continued to grow, eventually becoming a boys' collegiate. In 1954, it moved to its present site in North Park, where it now serves as a French Immersion Elementary School. Today, the students of Ecole St. Paul have the special honor of not only attending the school named for the patron saint of our school division, but also of belonging to the oldest Catholic school in Saskatoon. Father Léad Vachon is credited as the driving force behind the establishment of Catholic schools in Saskatoon. In 1911, he used his personal funds to provide supplies for our division's first school, which consisted of three teachers and 69 students in the basement of St. Paul's Cathedral. It's because of Father Vachon's servant leadership that the students from the school named in his honor, along with so many others in and around Saskatoon, are able to bring the good news of Christ's birth to the world. Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools is now home to over 20,000 students and 2,000 employees in 50 schools. And we continue to grow as the legacy of Father Vachon lives on.
When the first classes in the Catholic school division began in the basement of St. Paul's Church in 1912, it quickly became apparent that more space was needed. In response, St. Mary's School was built in 1914. Over time, the community and the character of the school grew and evolved, and in 2012, the old building was replaced by the new St. Mary's Wellness and Education Center. With the heart and attentiveness of Mary, our Blessed Mother, the school tends to the mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of students through curricular programming, inclusion of indigenous ways of knowing, guidance from elders, and an expanded pediatric clinic, the first of its kind in Canada. One of the newest members of the Greater Saskatoon Catholic Schools family, a call Holy Mary in Martinsville, is dedicated to the Blessed Mother, whose role in God's plan of salvation was foretold by the prophet Isaiah. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and she shall call him Emmanuel. The song that the students share with us today invites us to contemplate the precious gift of Mary's son Jesus, our Emmanuel which means God is with us. Bye. Uh -huh. 
St. Angela's School is named for St. Angela of Marici, the foundress of the first teaching order of women established in the Catholic Church, the Ursuline Order of Sisters. St. Angela was a teacher who demonstrated great patience, kindness, and love. And under her guidance, her students learned to love and follow Jesus through the church, prayer, and service to others. The Ursuline Sisters of Prelate arrived in Saskatoon in 1953. And guided by St. Angela's charism, contemplation in action, they served in eight elementary schools in our school division. Today, the legacy of St. Angela and the Sisters lives on in the students of St. Angela School as they raise their voices in joyful song, celebrating the birth of Jesus. On the occasion of its official opening in 1977, the students and staff of St. Mark's School expressed their desire to be a vibrant, living community that does not look upon itself, but looks outward to all people without exception. Today, that vision, enlivened by the gospel spirit of freedom and charity, is made manifest in a school that houses more than 450 students from over 50 countries. With joyful hearts, we give thanks for the unity in our diversity. As the students from St. Mark sing of the light and love that Christ brings to everyone the world over.
As Christian disciples, we hold deep in our hearts the story of Christ's earthly journey, which begins humbly in a borrowed manger in a stable and ultimately leads to the triumph of the resurrection. From cradle to cross, echoes of this story are heard in the history and identity of Holy Cross High School. From its own humble beginnings in three borrowed classrooms at St. Charles Elementary School in 1963, the school community grew to become Saskatoon's largest Catholic school, a school that is dedicated to and marked by the ultimate sign of God's love and fidelity, the Holy Cross.
Bishop Basil Filevich was installed as Bishop of the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Saskatoon in 1984. And today, the school named in his honour serves as Saskatchewan's only Ukrainian bilingual school. As a single-stream Ukrainian language school, Bishop Filevich provides religious, cultural and language programming for students of all parts of Saskatoon and has recently welcomed more than 150 students from Ukraine who are fleeing from the unrest in their country. In a song entitled Kolyatska Vuchit, the students sing today of a Christmas carol that resounds and brings happiness and prosperity to every Ukrainian city, village and home. And the words of the carol reflect the prayers of the people of Ukraine. May we leave the sadness and sorrow in the past. In the new year, let a ray of hope glimmer in our hearts and carry on the future with faith and aspiration. Let the sad tears of every child fade into laughter and allow the joyful carol to resound in every heart. May the prayers of our own hearts echo theirs as we pray with our brothers and sisters for peace.
Fittingly located in the neighborhood of Rosewood, St. Therese of Lisieux School is named in honor of the saint affectionately known as the Little Flower of Jesus. St. Therese saw the world as God's garden, with each person like a flower, bringing a unique beauty to the whole and with no flower going unnoticed. As the students of her school lift their voices in joy, their song clearly reflects the cheerful little way of St. Therese, bringing people to Christ by doing ordinary things with extraordinary love. Oh, oh, oh.